Welcome to this month's Anglican Commentary. I am Mary Beth Sanders Wilson, and I am a transitional deacon in the Diocese of Virginia. And this past January, I embarked on a borderlands pilgrimage to the U.S.-Mexico border. I spent a week at Casa de la Misericordia y de Todas las Naciones, a shelter for asylum seekers in Nogales, Sonora, Mexico. Then I spent a second week in Southern Arizona with folks doing all kinds of ministry with migrating people. My home base in Arizona was with the people of Grace St. Paul's in Tucson. Many of them have been engaged in border ministry for decades. At Casa de la Misericordia, it's a safe place and it was developed and, and is ministered to um, by Sister Lika Macias, who is pictured here with a representative from one of the shelter's many partnering agencies, uh, Cruz Roja Mexicana. Uh, I spent my time in the shelter helping where I could, um, but mostly getting to know the residents of the shelter and just being in uh, community with them, uh, particularly the kids and their moms. Uh, it's a wonderfully inclusive and life-giving space. Not to mention in a beautiful part of the Sonoran Desert. While I was there, I was able to live out some of the learning that I have done on campus uh, around liberation theology. Uh, Sister Lika invited me to help lead a community session of reflection, scripture reading, and prayer. Um, and it is now one of the most formational experiences of seminary for me. S -S Sister Lika leads the community, um, but is also a theologian and a pastoral presence, as well as an artist and teacher. Uh, I learned so much about being with people about storytelling, boundaries, and about God's love for the marginalized with her. On the U.S. side of the border, there is an extensive network of Americans, some Christians, many Episcopalians, some not religious at all, uh, that are engaged in caring for migrating people. I got the chance to go out with the Samaritans, which is a group that goes and does uh, gives aid to people uh, who are migrating around the wall and the physical border of the US uh, and Mexico. Um, and we went out into the wilderness uh, and drove along the wall uh, and helped people where we could. Uh, and it's just an example of the many and various ministries, large and small, uh, but they're all done in partnership. And I really loved this photo uh, where it has the, the hands, shaking hands of uh, people united, uh, brothers and sis sisters, siblings united uh, in this work. They assist migrating people from diverse backgrounds and locations. And at every step, the ministries are life-giving and life-saving. While there are many tragic stories of loss of life, family, and livelihood, there is also a lot of hope. My plan is to continue to stay connected to the people that I met on the border and to seek ways that I can continue to be involved in ministry to migrating people here in the DC region. So thank you for joining me for this brief overview of my uh, seep on the border.